In this video, we're going to talk about editing layout profiles using the profile creation tool. In order to get back into the profile creation tool for our design profile, what we need to do is we need to select the design profile that we're working with and go up to the contextual ribbon bar and click on the geometry editor. Inside of the geometry editor, we're going to see that our profile layout tools pops back up and it displays that we're working inside of our dev profile again. We already talked about the first half of the profile layout tools. What we're going to be dealing with now is this second part, specifically the placement of PVIs using components or insertion of PVIs using a tabular summary. So that option, if you select it, what you'll notice is that we get a option for inserting PVIs using a station and elevation number. You can also, if you want to place a curve, because a placement of a PVI is just the two tangents coming into that point, the creation of a curve would be selecting your curve option and then telling a station elevation and curve length. So I'm going to go ahead and do a station equation for a parabolic curve, and we're going to place it in and see what happens. So I'm going to give a station of 7 plus 50. I'm going to give an elevation of 190, and I'm going to give a curve length of 50 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what you'll see happen here is that I have now added in a new point of vertical intersection with a parabolic curve between these two points here. And you'll see the information showing that the length of that curve is 50 feet, the station is 750, and the elevation of the PVI is 190. Moving on from there, you can raise and lower your PVIs using this button, and then you can copy profiles using this button. Moving on into the next section, this is where you get a majority of your editing done based on certain parameters. The two parameters that you can edit profiles in on the toolbar here is PVI-based editing and entity-based editing. So with PVI-based editing, you're going to be selecting the PVI that you want to modify, and then you will change information on it. So I'm going to go ahead and select PVI. And then what happens is the profile layout parameters window shows up. Sometimes when you're working inside of Civil 3D, if you close this window and you select your PVI button again, that window may not show back up. Also, it doesn't show up sometimes after you've selected it and then clicked near the PVI you want to edit. If this window doesn't show up and you feel like the drawing has been locked out, it may be as simple as having to click this window button again. So if it's not displaying, you just click it and it will display again, and then you can get into your PVI or entity-based editing again. So inside of this profile layout parameters window, what you can have is you have the information for that one point. So we have a grade in, which is negative 2.33%. We have a grade out, which is 0.81%. We have a PVI station, which is contained right here, 4, 4 plus 97.28. And then we have a PVI elevation, which is 187,943. When you're editing PVIs, what you have to understand is that if you edit the station or the elevation, you are going to be modifying the point and you will retain connection to the tailing PVI and the leading PVI. If you modify the grade in or the grade out, you will retain your PVI's station and elevation, and you will be modifying either, in the case of grade in, you'll be modifying the tailing PVI, and in the case of grade out, you will be modifying the leading PVI. Moving on from there, I'm going to go ahead and just, as an example, change my grade in. And so what you'll see happen is we will retain our station and elevation for our PVI, and this PVI will end up getting lowered because I'm going to modify my grade in to negative 1.5. I'm going to hit enter. And what you see is the PVI lowered, our grade has changed, but our labels haven't updated. What I have to do is hit enter again to accept that change. And now all the labels update themselves. Moving on from there, we can get into entity-based modifying. And so we can select our sub-entities. So I'm going to select my sub-entity. I'm going to go into this curve here. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to go into this and I'm going to change my curve length. So my curve length, I'm going to change to 75. And then from there, uh, you'll see what happens to the change is it kind of widens the, the arc of this vertical curve. And all the rest of the information generally stays about the same. I believe uh, there are a couple of 
objects that change within here. But for the most part, your PVI station stays the same, your PVI elevation stays the same. All your grades should remain the same. You just change your curve radius and your K value. You can also get additional information about your curve from here. So you can get your passing site distance, your stopping site distance, your your grade in, your grade out, your PVI station, PVI elevation, and all of that information. You just can't modify the ones that are gray. So moving on from here, the last option that we're gonna talk about is deleting objects. So if you have a sub entity that you don't like, that you don't wanna have in your drawing anymore, you can delete that sub entity by going into the delete sub entity option. I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And then I'm gonna to navigate to this curve that I have here and I'm gonna delete it. And so when you click on it, it deletes that one sub entity. So you can delete individual pieces and parts of your profile and then draw them back in later. I'm also going to delete this new PVI that we created by clicking delete PVI and then clicking near it and hitting enter to accept that. 